It's me, Lair Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, students. Uh, today we are going to learn about the angiosperm. Okay, today's uh, lecture contents are introduction and key feature of angiosperm. Uh, we will also learn about the lifespan of angiosperm and uh, discuss about the um, morphology of uh, angiosperm plants and uh, uh, we'll uh, discuss the um, uh, differences and uh, different uh, features of monopod and dipods plant and at the end we will discuss about the importance of angiosperm. From this lecture, a student, you will understand about the key feature of angiosperm, its lifespan, and will know about the basic plant morphology and can be able to differentiate between monocot and dicot plants, and will learn about the importance of angiosperm. The word angiosperm comes from two Greek words, angion means container and sperma means seed. Uh, so angiosperms are plants that produce flower, uh, fruits and seed. So flower are actually that part of plant which contains the male and uh, female reproductive organ or sometimes both. And fruits are the mature flora organs uh, of the angiosperm plant and seed is an embryonic plant enclosed in a protective outer covering which can grow into a new plant. The reproductive structure of angiosperm are flower in which the ovules are enclosed in the ovary. So the ovule is the structure that contains the female reproductive cell so far, the angiosperm are the largest group of plants on earth. There are nearly 400 species of flowering plants alive today. As uh, uh, this group of plants is a dominant form of uh, plant on the planet. Nearly 80% of all known living plants, angiosperms are also called uh, anthophyta. Uh, anthophyta means uh, flowering plants and uh, angiosperm uh, display a huge variety of life forms including trees, herbs, aquatic plants and bulb. So bulb is uh, structurally a short uh, stem with uh, fleshy leaves from zinc for example, garlic, tulip, and lilies, and epiphytes. Epiphytes are the plants that grow upon another plant for their physical support. The largest plant families are Hesteresia, that includes sunflower, daisy, etc., Rosiacea, rose, uh, apple, pear, and uh, strawberries, and Leguminaceae, including uh, bees and P. Uh, members of this phylum are uh, used as a source of uh, food on which uh, humans and other mammals rely, uh, used uh, in the manufacture of a wide range of products including medicine, rubber, oil, perfume, and uh, pesticides. And just from a range in a size from a small microscopic flowering plants like duckweed. Uh, duckweed are the minute plants uh, floating at the surface of ponds uh, to a giant uh, tree, for example, eucalyptus, uh, silk cotton, and include uh, plants of a great variety. Angiosperms can be woody or herbaceous. In, in case of uh, woody, the stem is hard uh, woody and is uh, called trunk. These plants contain secondary tissues or herbaceous uh, plants are the small plants uh, with soft and uh, green stem. Angiosperms evolved a specialized vascular uh, tissues, for example, xylem and phloem, that translocate the water and nutrient to all uh, parts of the plant body. Uh, students, on the basis of age, angiosperm are grouped as uh, annual, biennial, and perennial plants. Annual plants are plants which complete their life cycle mean growth, flowering and death with the same season. Example includes sunflower, mustard, uh, pea, bean, rice and maize. 
while biennials are those plants that complete their life cycle into two years and the vegetative stage or non-reproductive or uh, plants growth uh, take place uh, from seed during the first year and flowering and fruit develop during the second year example of biennial uh, plants are member of onion family and uh, some cabbage family perennial are those plants that live for more than uh, two years every year uh, they produce flower fruits and seeds example are mango roses and bamboo etc this group of plants are organized into a root system and shoot system uh, roots uh, rely on sugar produced by photosynthesis in the shoot system uh, shoots rely on water and mineral absorbed by the uh, root system here we will discuss about the morphology of angiosperm. Plant morphology actually deals with the study and uh, study of the form and structure of things. No matter students which angiosperm plants you consider, the morphology of flowering plant includes the root, which consists of uh, root tips and uh, root hair. Uh, shoots include nodes, internodes, bud. Uh, and uh, further in birds, uh, terminal or apical birds, axillary birds, flower birds, and flowers, and uh, leaves. Leaves consist of uh, mesophyll tissue and veins. Uh, student, in uh, coming lectures, I will uh, discuss each part in detail.